Derivatives of parametric functions. All right, what are we looking for? Let's come on over here. We're looking for dy dx of what? Of these guys. These are your parametric functions. All right, okay. What do we need to do? We need to find dy dx as if this was in the regular plane. And it can be, but we can't take the derivative with respect to x of things that have t's in there. So what do we just need to do? We need to break this up into using the chain rule. We're looking at dy dt, because we can take the derivative of y with respect to t, and we're going to multiply it by dt dx. What's next? This is an application of the chain rule. Those two are the same. Now, a little trick, like ninja. We're looking at dy dt divided by dx dt. A little differential manipulation. Notice, oh, okay. So, what do we need? We need dy dt, and we'll get that right here, see? So dy dt, I'm gonna take the derivative of this guy with respect to t, and I see it's gonna be a 2t. And then, what else do we need? We need, we need, we need, oh boy, dx dt. So we can use this form for the entire differential. And when we're looking at dx dt, we have to use the product rule. It's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. That's t cosine t. Now what do we do? We're just gonna go and we're gonna perform the quotient of those two and that's gonna get us our entire differential. So now I'm on up over here. I'm looking for dy dx. What comes next? That's dy dt divided by dx dt. So we just put those two pieces in there. So to be clear, this one is 2t divided by that one sine t plus t cosine t. Box and flower.